I mean, we practice every day for it. We have an amazing team. All of our guards are amazing, and I'm there to help however I can. And I'm just glad he's starting to trust me more and more. And I, I mean, we work for it every day. I'm here every day, and that's. I mean, I had an opportunity, and I was just happy I could help. Yeah. <laughs> and early on, offensively, just nothing seemed to be working for you guys. The mm -hmm. coach said that he went small, tried to keep it, so you guys were more on the outside with the guard play. What changes did you see throughout the game that helped? You know, those big threes, those big shots mm -hmm. fall for you guys. Well, the advantage that we have when we are going small, we lose our strength in the post, but we, we can be fast, we can push the ball a lot more. Yeah, we give up a little bit on certain things, we can lose a couple of rebounds, but Pace is really tough down there, Shaley rebounds really well too, so we can just push the ball hard and just move fast and be ready to hit open shots, and that's what finally worked for us. We need to learn a big lesson from this one, <laughs> we really do. Would you say there was not necessarily a hangover, but just, you know, Coach Finn's big win on Thursday, huge game, yeah. really emotional game, mm -hmm. and only two days to get ready for today. Do you yeah. feel like maybe the start's a little sluggish yeah. just after such a big game on Thursday? I mean, I don't, I think we always talk about not underestimating anyone, and I don't believe we do that, but it is, it happens. After a big game like that, everyone after the game, you guys saw how much we celebrated. No one could go to bed because we're all jittery and so excited about it. And then the next day you come and you have to practice hard and focus and it's hard. It's hard to just get back up. And I mean, like I said, we learned a lesson. We knew things like that happen and we let it get it to us from the beginning. But <laughs> thankfully we, we got the win. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Caitlin had some really nice minutes, and, and, uh, yeah. and, and that seemed to kind of spell Bob a little really well. Uh -huh. She had some really nice minutes there, a little underratedly. Jasmine had some nice minutes. For sure, for what, sure. What do you guys kind of see as, as sort of, I won't say your role because that's overplayed, but, mm -hmm. but how, do you, how do you sort of provide that spot, I guess, when you're called on to come? When, when you mean when you come from the bench? Like, how do you know? So, I mean, Juddy, he's he does a very good job at letting us know what our role is in the team, like you said. Just not necessarily. He doesn't stop us from doing things that we feel comfortable doing. But so, for example, my role is to come, push the ball, play good defense, and hit open shots. And if you're focused, and it's not always it's easier said than done, but when you come from the bench, you, you get an opportunity. That's college basketball. You ha you have to be ready, and it's hard. It's not easy. That's something you work on every day. But that's what the girls did. Caitlin, she's a great addition to our team. She brings that energy. Jasmine, like you said, underrated sometimes. Does great things for us defensively. Uh, Sarah did great too. Bob's did really good. I I'm happy because we're Brazilians <laughs> together. <laughs> uh, she she has the. She's very athletic and good, and she's learning. She's just a freshman. And, I mean, I think. We're growing every every day, and people are being able to help even more. So, yeah. You guys teaching the rest of the teams in Portuguese? We well, we do a little bit, but we also like to talk in private. So, <laughs> so we just keep it quiet. No, but we teach them a little bit. Yeah.